Good morning, Forest. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Haley. Today's date is Tuesday, January 12th, and on today's show, we will be taking a look at all of our upcoming events. When eating lunch outside, please make sure to help out our custodial and cafeteria staff by cleaning up your area to help keep our campus clean. Also students, make sure you're wearing your mask over your mouth and nose unless you're actively eating or drinking or a teacher has properly social distanced you. This is to maintain the safety of all of our students. Remember students, we are testing this week today through Thursday, so make sure to study and be prepared. Tomorrow we will be testing in first and fifth block, so make sure you're ready for those exams. Speaking of deadlines, Dance Marathon is coming up, so make sure to sign up and start donating. Seniors, make sure to sign up for cap and gown pictures in the activities office. Let's throw it over to Ava with our sports for today. Hey Forrest, I'm Ava here with all your sports news for today. Last Friday, the girls soccer team had their first district game against Columbia and won 7 to nothing. Let's take a look at how they did. This is Tori Shenovar here with Emily Risto, one of our varsity girls soccer players. So Emily, how was the game on Friday? Uh, Friday it went really well. Uh, we won 7 nothing against Columbia. I, when it was our first district game and it set the mood for like the rest of our district game, so it was really good. Oh, that's awesome. So what does the rest of the season look for you guys? Um, next week, we have two games this week, but next week is our county tournament and we're just really getting prepared for that and trying to finish out the season and the county tournament on top. Oh, good. Well, I wish you guys the best of luck. Now back to our anchors. Tonight, they have an away game versus Eustace at 7 and JV at 5.30. On Thursday, they play Wesley Chapel away. The boys have a home game against Columbia this Thursday. JV plays at 5 and Varsity at 7. They also played a game last week. Delaney has the inside scoop. Our boys soccer team is having a great season. From freshmen to seniors, they have become a strong team, and tonight came out with a big win, 8-0. to zero. Our team goes for the season was just to grow as a team, uh, hopefully get to the state finals, win the state finals, uh, and just have fun with each other and get better as players. My personal goals for the season is to help the team as much as possible, get goals, assists, and just to become a better player. They are learning from every game and improving their skills to be the best they can be. Something I saw tonight was we did really good with our passing and our movement was very well. We played very fast and I mean we scored a bunch of goals, so that was pretty good. To improve, we need to communicate more and we need to get the ball off our feet a little bit quicker and pass more, I guess. And we had a hard game Saturday, so we need to improve on all of those things to win the game Saturday. This has been Delaney Heist reporting for WCAT. Now back to the anchors. In basketball news, the boys came out with a huge win against crosstown rival Vanguard with a final score of 60-46. to Tonight, they play Trinity Catholic away at 6 and Varsity at 7.30. They also have a game Thursday against North Marion at North Marion at 6 and 7. The girls basketball team also plays North Marion at North Marion on Wednesday at 6. We can't wait to see both our boys and girls teams take home multiple wins this week. Our wrestling team has also had a busy season. Last Saturday, they competed against nine different teams at the George Jenkins Duels and placed third. They also have a meet this Friday. Stay tuned for more updates. Girls Weightlifting is competing at their MCIAC meet this Wednesday. The time is to be determined, but we know they'll pull through with the win. Our competitive cheerleaders had their first competition last Friday at Hudson High School and placed fourth, advancing on to states at the end of the month, as well as having the highest score out of all the schools in our county. They have another competition this Saturday. That wraps up all the sports news for today. We wish all of our cats good luck. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Ava. It looks like our winter sports are continuing to have a great season. Powder Beth permission slips are now available and the game is January 27th. On Saturday, a group of our students went out to the local farmer's market to talk to a young entrepreneur. 
Let's check it out with Emma Beth. Every Saturday, rain or shine, local vendors come from all over to set up shop at the Ocala Downtown Market. No matter how young or old, they all have the opportunity to branch out, especially during this time of uncertainty. The idea to start my own business came from, you know, the excitement of having a creative outlet. I took up making jewelry as a way to, you know, express myself creatively and it just so happened that people had a lot of interest in it. So right now I'm able to sell my jewelry in the tattoo gallery of Ocala and here at the Ocala Downtown Market as well as online on my Etsy shop. But I'm really just excited to partner with more people and expand my reach. Even with some of the challenges that may arise, Felicity continues to push through with mentors and friends by her side. Doing this, she even puts aside some of her own needs. I think people are eager to share the wisdom that they've learned over the years with me. And luckily, I have a lot of people to look up to. So the profits from Fel Makes Rings, over 50% of them go towards providing meals and services to our local homeless community. I do this independent of any existing organization. I'm able to grocery shop, meal plan, and prep, and deliver meals daily to our local homeless community in downtown Ocala. And apart from that, I've been able to bring over 50 blankets, over 30 jackets, and cover various medical expenses. My motto with everything, personally, is just to do what I can with what I have. And luckily, my community has been so supportive during this. And with places like the downtown market, I'm able to help so many people. I'm approaching 1,000 meals fed to our local homeless community within three or so months. And I am just so blessed to have been a part of it. Be sure to stop by the Ocala Downtown Market every Saturday to support local vendors here in Ocala. Some booths may even make you want to put a ring on it. For WCAT, this has been Emma Beth reporting. Now back to the anchors. Students, make sure to take a look at the application window for the school choice programs. They include Magnet Career and Technical Academies and have already begun, so make sure to apply before January 31st, 2021. If you're interested, there will be a virtual school choice expo January 21st from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. This meeting will inform your parents and students about various school and program offers through our school choice. That's all the news we have for you today. To stay updated on all things for us, make sure to follow us at FHS underscore WCAT on Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, I'm Haley. And I'm Kaylee. Have a great day for us, and like always, Go, go Cats! Cats.